I'm going to fill up this space with tiles and I've decided that I'm going to use a Penrose tiling. Penrose tiles were uh, created by Roger Penrose and it is a way to fill up this space with five-fold symmetry and aperiodicity, meaning they won't repeat. And we're going to do this with two different rhombuses, or in this context, rhombs. A fat one and a skinny one here. And they will completely fill up the space. The angles here, if you can read them, are 36, 72, 108, and 144. And the ratios uh, conform to the golden ratio. Uh, can't just put it together in any order though. We've got to match up the arrows here. If we don't match up the arrows then the pattern will repeat before too long. Now I didn't mark the arrows on the tiles. I'm just going to do it in my head as I go. But I just cut all these tiles with an ordinary wet saw if I had a bigger area to do, I think I would have tried to create a jig as it was. I just cut them all freehand, which may become a problem later. We'll have to see. Anyway, so set up my workstation here. As you see, I just uh, spread all of my stuff all over the place and then threw it at the, at the floor. Here we go. Really no big deal. One at a time you start get to the little tiny places. Oh, made a mistake there, but I don't recognize it till right, right there. Yeah, I had to redo it. And there it is. It's been grouted now. And that's it. You see the five-fold symmetry radiating from the center. Your outlines aren't too bad. Over a larger area, I think the error would be magnified. It might be difficult to make it look as nice. But just three by three, really no problem. Alright. And there it is. Penrose tile.